All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Hi, baby. Good morning. What are you doing? Uh, I made breakfast for us. Why? Because I wanted to. Who asked you to? Babe, we're a couple. Anybody can decide to make breakfast. And besides, you know I'm a good cook. This is the point where you tell me that I cannot cook. I made breakfast for us. Why? Eat. So you can go and tell your family and friends that I no longer cook for you. That you are the cook of the house. You're the one taking care of everything in this house. Why are you sounding like this? What is the problem? You are my problem. The fact that you have refused to use your head in this house is a problem for me. I wake up in the morning, this whole house is smelling of food. I'm sure if I open that thing, I'll see the rubbish that you have cooked. My friend, clear that place and get, get, get that nonsense out of my sight. Don't you? Yes. What did you say that happened to you? My dear, it was, it was an accident. An accident? Yeah, he didn't mean to. Did my brother do this to you? It wasn't his fault. It was, it was my fault. I need to ask you something. And I need you to tell me the truth. Does my brother hit you? No. My husband will never hit me. He loves me. And even if he does, it's out of love. But he, he doesn't hit me. But you will tell me if he does, right? Yes, I would. I'm sorry. It's fine. Thank you. All right. I have to go now. Thank Please you. take care of yourself. You will. Uh, yeah. What's up? Hey, honey. Hey. What happened to your hand? It's okay. I told her already. What's wrong with her? You told her what? What happened to your hand? You went and reported me to your sister, right? You see, eh? This is just the tip of the iceberg. She's good. I know. Drink, drink. There's something about the tea. Oh, I, it's because I added the peanuts. I grinded peanuts and added to the tea. What? I thought I told you to call in sick. My shot. Are you going to call in sick or we go to the hospital? What will it be? What did you say? I'm calling sick my shot. Louder. That's what you get for not listening to your wife. Angela, all I'm saying is for you to calm down. You married a good man. A good man. Says who? By whose standards? You think I'm going to sit down and, and let my husband beat me the way Papa beat you till the day he died? Stop it. No, don't tell me to stop it. You encouraged my sister to stay in an abusive relationship until that man put her on a wheelchair. And here I am, trying to sort things out myself. You're, you're, you're trying to get involved. He said he never laid a finger on you. He never laid a finger on me. It's his words against mine. All right, so let's talk about this one, the third marriage. And this really has to do with taking your luggage, your all the bad experiences that you have from a previous relationship I'm bringing it to your new relationship. Some people might argue that, you know, we're human beings and we, it's not easy to forget. But the truth is that when you take all the bad experiences that you have and bring it to a new relationship, all it does is hurt your new relationship. The best advice you will get if you really talk to somebody that's educated about this is to heal first before you get in a new relationship. Heal. If you need to go to therapy, go to therapy. If you need to take time out and heal, take time out and heal. It is absolutely wrong to take all the hurtful experiences that you had in a previous relationship and you import it into your new one. You know, the new guy is different from the old guy. Your ex is your ex. Your new man is your new man. Yes, we're supposed to learn from experiences that happened to us in the past. We're supposed to even learn from experiences that happened to other people, you know. But learning from something is different from packaging the whole thing and bringing it into the new one. So if there's something that an old partner used to do that you didn't like, 
you know, or that they did that you had to deal with. It's always good when you start a new relationship and the new guy is not doing the same thing. Don't instantly reflect that he would do it so you start taking precautionary measures in such a way that will now start hurting him even though he's not even doing the thing in question. But men and women are guilty of these things, you know, because, you know, you tend to say, you know, I'm not going to, let's just say he's a abusive partner that beats you. You know, you're not going to, you know, sit back and take such an abuse again see something like that is understandable if you maybe had a relationship where the guy was always beating you and you were always forgiving him you know and then you start a new relationship and the guy beats you maybe the first time you can be like no i'm not taking this again and you leave the relationship but if you're not in a new relationship and the guy is not beating you but you're still maybe pulling the knife or doing things that you did when the X was beating you, then you are, of course, importing old wounds into your new relationship. You know, and that's absolutely wrong. That's something if you're doing it, please, please, you need to see a therapist. You need to go on the meeting, call yourself and identify these things that you need to stop, you know, because it's a it hot your existing partner. There's no two ways about it. It hurts your existing partner because you are now punishing them for what somebody else did. They are not doing it, but you're punishing them for something somebody else did. And that's exactly what happened in this particular movie. The lady went through all this trauma in her past relationship. And she's here in her mind taking precautionary measures. But instead of these things being precautionary, she's actually taking out things that the man has not done yet. But he's already taking it out on him based on that he will still do it. You know, and of course, the man is not doing anything of such. But here he goes. Here he is taking the beating for something he's not doing. So ladies, gentlemen, it's absolutely wrong to bring your old wounds into your new relationship. If you still have those wounds, it's best that you let them heal first. 100% best that you don't even start a new relationship until you make sure that those old wounds are gone, you know, then you start with a new slate, you know, and yes, it's okay to, you know, when you're starting the new one, tell your partner, look, these are the things, these are my boundaries. You hit me once, we're done with the relationship. Or, you know, you do this, we're done with the relationship. But at least you're not taking it out on them. You're just letting them know things that you are not going to be able to tolerate because you've dealt with it in the past and it wasn't favorable. But that's different from you taking out things that the new relationship man or woman has not done yet. But you're taking it out on them already. That's it for this one, guys. It's pretty short, but straight to the point. If you love content like this, please like, share, follow, subscribe. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.